in a scruffy district near the center of Damascus, the statistics about the displaced turn into real people. Volunteers from the Syrian Arab Red Crescent have come to register the extended Al Jandale family parents, uncles, aunts, and children. Right, this is a very overcrowded flat in this room alone. 22 people sleep every night. Down the corridor, there's another room. That's a bedroom for nine. In the room up there, seven people sleep. And here in the entrance hall, there are mattresses for another four. In Damascus as a whole, there are two million displaced people. That is equivalent to half its original population. The family used to live in Joba, one of the outer suburbs of Damascus that's now in the hands of armed rebels. Two of the men of the house are dead, killed by a shell. I'm just sad about the children, she says. So sad because of what they've seen in the last two years. One of the Red Crescent volunteers speaks to Shahed, who's been having nightmares. I'm not afraid, she says. I just wake up because I have bad dreams. Your father will take you to a clinic, he says, and you'll stop the bad dreams and have nice ones. In Damascus, the Red Crescent say they get less than half of the supplies they need to support the displaced Syrians who've become refugees in their own country. Donors aren't giving enough. The Syrians will feel better if they exchange the price of Tomahawks missiles with food parcels and food items. That'd be a lot of food parcels. Yes, I know. <laughs> you need those? We need those, yes. Of course we need those. People need those. Syrians used to need the Red Crescent just because of the fighting. But increasingly, people are being displaced, fearing for their lives because of who they are. Not only talking about the humanitarian situation, which is almost a catastrophe, but uh, sectarianism is uh, really scaring. Where are we going? Talking about the future is scaring, you know, the possibility of having huge genocide. It's there, you know, because it's taking that dimension. A genocide? You think there's a risk of genocide? There's a risk of genocide. A rebel shell hit this building in government-controlled Damascus. They're still heavily outgunned by the regime. Firepower wins wars. But in the end, it might be sectarian hatred that breaks this country apart. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Damascus.